Hi, Emilian is here. This will be a quick demonstration of a planning prototype driven by a logic script, which I created for a fun. Uh, in the first step, we have to fill a sales price, sales prices for different profit centers. I will enter them in the dummy profit center, which will distribute to the rest. Uh, I will do this uh, using a run allocation logic script function placed in the default logic script file. On the next step, we have to enter quantities. We already have selling price to all of our profit centers to the to our finished goods, finish goods products. We'll see we have a sale amount. Next step we will see uh, sales requests. Those are the quantities that we need to deliver based on the demand of the sales module. Let's enter also current stock of those products which we internally produce. Here uh, you will see that some of the products are not appearing from this module. The reason is that they in the scenario are procured externally. Only those are procured internally and we are producing them and those two are sub-products which are part of those two. Okay, let's save this and we will have some quantities for production. This will go into the POM module. Those ones are not filled with the demand from production for those two products. So let's go, go to POM module, refresh. We have prefilled, uh, I have prefilled it with bond quantity and bill of materials costs. We need production quantity for those two finished goods that we, we are selling. Okay, so we have here the quantities and quantities of the materials that are used in the product, in the final product. We have to also produce those two, so let's move back to inventory, but first, sorry I forgot, we have to push the quantity to inventory. So we have production requests for those two products. Let's calculate a target stock and we'll have also for production calculation. This will, will be what we have to produce and our target stock based on the demand. This is just uh, divide by 12, nothing else. Okay, let's move back to the bomb module, pull the product quantity, refresh. We have production quantity here also and also the raw materials that we need to procure somehow, either internally or externally. The next step is processing step. Uh, 
we will blow again the quantity from the bomb module. It will populate here and it will calculate total hours. So right now we have we don't have our rates as those who uh, come from uh, OPEX module. But firstly, we have to see uh, what those hours will require, uh, which, how many resources those total hours will require in terms of human resources and capital expenditure machines in this case. So let's push those hours to HR and CAPEX. We'll see. We expect, or I'm expecting, a demand to be populated. Okay. This is what we have. We can compare it. It's the same figure. Uh, the positions are the positions in HR are mapped to the processing steps here with uh, using the properties of the dimension. So let's enter some basic information. HR model, capacity per year, how many positions we currently have, how many employees on those positions we currently have, total hours and total amount, yearly salary, and what we give to them. And we will also have, based on the demand, we will have a our termination proposal, how many quantities we need to hire in this case, based on the demand on and also on the available resources. I will do some adjustments. adjustments and for balance top topics uh, we will send from here total hours and total amount let's move to the capex model we need to to see here demand prefilled from the processing module Yes, it's, it's here, and let's enter a basic information for the machines, what is, how much there is their costs, what is their capacity, what's the useful life, and how many we have available right now. Based on this information, we will have depreciation expense per year, total capital expense, total hours in terms of capacity, and total depreciation based on the quantity and yearly depreciation per unit. We also have demand, uh, how many we need. Again, we have adjustment. For some reason, strategically, we will need uh, additional free capacity. We can enter one unit more. And this will result in the balance. We need following uh, quantities of 
machines which will result in depreciation expense based on that. Okay, let's move to OPEX. From HR and CAPEX we have labor costs and depreciation expenses and personal costs. We also have working hours and machine hours. We need to calculate uh, labor and machine rate. In this particular case, I'm dividing only to worker hours. So it's really based on the policy of the company which one it will get. Uh, let's move to our processing module. We need our hour rates for uh, calculating the processing costs. Let's pull the rates. And then calculate the processing costs. Okay. So, this is it. This was a quick demonstration. Thank